Okay, we're back and we're doing an easy, simple summer dish, Florentine chicken in a skillet, coupled with some cauliflower mashed potatoes. Let's go. Step one, take our floppy little breast here and cut it in half lengthwise. Oh, that is a sharp knife. Side note, got some new knives. Pretty fancy. Beautiful, New West Knife Works. So this is what a knife is supposed to cut like. I feel like I've been cutting with a spoon for the last year and a half. Next step, a full caveman. Give these things a little tenderizing. Okay, next step, we're gonna hit our cutlets with a little salt and pepper. The higher you apply, the better your salt tastes. Now pepper, remember that head tilt. Now our cutlets are getting dredged. Half a cup of all-purpose flour. Two eggs. Whisk up those eggs. Now let our cutlet dredging begin. Egg first, little slither right through it onto the flour. Give it a good covering. You'll also encounter what's known as the marshmallow finger. Okay, if you're gonna do like 45 pieces of chicken like me, then definitely add more than a half a cup of flour. I've done like three more additions of the flour into here and I still might need more to get through this circus of chicken on this plate. Low tide for this last little cutlet, but we're making it work. Onto the cauliflower mash. We're gonna slice up our cauliflower, take out the center, while we wait for our pot to get hot enough to steam our cauliflower, we're gonna chop our garlic and onion. Crucial time saver. Pots of steaming, cauliflower's going in. Okay, kind of miscalculated the cauliflower to pot ratio, so we have a little discrepancy there, but who's counting? Back to our garlic. Maui onion. Okay, now we're de-stemming some thyme for our chicken cutlets. Time to check the tenderness. Well, they're feeling pretty soft. Mm, a little bit longer. Let our cauliflower rest and, ow, that is hot. And take some of the liquid out of it. Towel here. Ow, f***er, that's hot. Like you're drying off a little duck. Dry off your cauliflower. Time to chop the thyme. Take your time when chopping thyme. How many times have you chopped thyme? <laughs> uh. Both of our skillets are scalding hot. We've put a little olive oil in there and it's just started to shimmer. Now we're gonna add some summer cherry tomatoes picked right out of my dad's garden as our first step. Oh, that is hot. Ow, ow, ow. Damn it. Next, a little bit of garlic. Onion after that. These things are popping, splattering me all over the arm. I need a long sleeve apron. Time to enter the time. Pinch of salt, elbow full of pepper, crushed red pepper. Double mitten, we've learned from our mistake. Take our skillets, now remove our tomatoes and all that other good stuff. Into our skillets now goes two tablespoons olive oil, four tablespoons of butter. Let's get this cutlet party started, in they go. Okay, we're doing a little golden brown check. Golden brown they are, flip them over. Now we're gonna add a little bit more butter right into this, butter, back in. Now we're gonna turn our oven on broil and get that preheated. Put some thyme in. Hear that crackle? Now we're cooking. Lemon. Slice that right down the middle. Get your juicer, give her a twist. First time using a giant food processor, but we're gonna take our cauliflower. It's all nice and dried out. Start to layer it in here. Gonna work smarter, not harder. Roll it in there. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, that could have been worse. Now we're taking some sauteed garlic and onions. Into the food processor now goes grass-fed butter. If you have this available, make it happen. One tablespoon Maui raw. Coconut aminos. Dash of olive oil. Almond milk. Cauliflower mash, here we come. Now layer in some buffalo mozzarella between the chicken pieces. Fresh lemon juice. Sauteed deliciousness back into each skillet. Fresh basil, rip some of that up and get that involved. Now a crucial finishing component, ovens on broil. 500 degrees, we're gonna open this thing up. Yep, that's 500 degrees. Slide our two skillets in there. Let that thing get a good searing for about a minute and a half. I think we are done here. Looking glorious. Accompany your meal with your favorite sourdough. Mine happens to be leaven. Let's open this little care package up. What do you know about that? Okay, shall we? That is stupid good. If you really wanna get crazy, extra credit. Take that sourdough, mix it up in that olive oil, butter, sauce, everything. Get that in ya. You know what? F it, I'm going into here. Like that's kinda what sourdough is made for, right here. You don't even really need the chicken. Stupid good, stupid simple, Florentine chicken, summer vegetables, leavened bread, new knife, who dis? What else do you need? There you go, summer dinner served.